In this guide, I'm going to be showing you how you can set up TradingView to have a simple and effective trading style. Hello and welcome, my name is Jacob, this is Trade Happy, a platform for traders around the world to be happy and consistently profitable. Remember guys, if you are new here, hit the subscribe button and hit the like button because it really does help out and drop a comment below just saying hi. So let's just have a look at TradingView. Once you've actually set up an account and you've clicked on the little chart button at the top, it'll look something like this. So on the left hand side, you'll have all of the tools and on the right hand side, you'll have your charts. Um, so we're just currently on GBPUSD at the moment and this isn't something that I would normally use for my trading. Now, I don't use volume when I'm trading and I don't know whether you do as well, but for me personally, I'm just gonna get rid of this. So we'll start off by just making the charts look good and then we'll go over some of the other tools here as well. So if you just right click anywhere on the actual chart and come down here, you'll be able to see settings. Now, if you just click on that, it will bring this up. And if you just toggle bodies on and off, you'll see for the actual candlesticks, it will toggle that middle section out. Now, what I like to do is to have white for the bars that are going up and black for the bars that are going down. I mean, you can have green as well. Um, that also just look quite good. And then for the borders, I just use black on both. So you could have something that looks like this. And then if you, d if you just change the wicks as well to black, it'll look something like this. What you can also do is just change that to white and that does look good as well. Um, so what I'm gonna do is just stick with this and we can go to the next section. So you don't need to change anything else on here. Um, personally, I just like all of this. Obviously change the time zone if that isn't the same time zone for yourself. Um, now this is kind of preference. Um, you can tick or keep any of these that you want. Um, I just keep them all the same. The scale, I keep the same as well. And with the appearance, Again, this is down to your own preference, but I like to just get rid of the lines on the actual chart, just to try and keep it as simple as possible. Um, so what you can do is you can just drag the opacity down to zero and they will disappear. Now, going on to trading, I don't actually trade through trading view. So this isn't relevant to me. And also with the events, I just untick all of these. And it will basically get rid of the things on the bottom. So if you have these, you'll see little circles down here. And if you just get rid of those, then nothing will show up for you. Um, so something to get rid of the actual volume of the bond, if you're not going to be using volume, is just click on it and hit the delete button and then it will disappear. Um, and if you come to, onto the right hand side, you can't actually see it on my screen, but you'll see the numbers on the right hand side. And if you just toggle or move up and down on those numbers, the chart will move. And then you'll be able to move the chart around wherever you want to move it by clicking and holding and just dragging wherever you want it to be. Um, and that, that's really, really useful if you are moving around the charts and trying to zoom in. Now, you can zoom in by holding control and just going on your scroll wheel and going backwards and forwards. And you can zoom in specifically on a certain point by just holding your cursor over that point and, it, and the market will just zoom in where you've put it. So combining the zoom and the actual scroll, you can start to play around with the actual charts a little bit and find a place where you're happy. So once you've got to this stage, you 
you'll be around that stage where I am, where you've got a clean shot for actually seeing the markets clearly. Now, if you come down to this section down here in the bottom left, you'll see that you've got different um, time zones. So if I click on six months, it's now showing me six months of data on the two hour chart. Then I can go to the three months and it'll switch to the hourly, the one month and it'll go to the 30 minute and so on and so on. So this can be useful if you are going to be looking back a certain period. So I can see for the for a one month of data, this is what it looks like. So if I go on for one day, one day's worth of data, this is what I'm seeing. So it can be really useful. I don't really use it that much, but I guess it can be useful for some instances. Um, now, if you come across the top, you can see you've got GBPUSD, and I only trade GBPUSD really, that's like my go-to currency. But let's say you wanted to trade your USD. All you would do is type or click on GBPUSD and type in your USD. And all of these would pop up and you just click on your USD and it would automatically change for you. Now I'm just gonna go back to GBPUSD. The next one is your actual time frames. Now I trade the five minute and the 15 minute. So what you can do is click on the little star and it will put them around here. So all you can do is just click on the five minute, 15 minute and the weekly and you'll be able to see exactly what is going on for those pairs really, really easily without having to find them on this. So if we just stay on the five minute, the next one is your actual candles. Now, I mainly use candlesticks, but I also do use bars. Um, bars can be really, really useful for kind of seeing a different perspective on the markets than what you're used to. So if you are ever stuck around a certain trade or maybe the trade idea isn't showing to you, you can use the bar chart to just try and find a better entry or possibly see an entry that you wouldn't have seen on the candlesticks. So the next one is compare. I don't really use this feature, so I'm not really gonna go into it. Um, so the next one is indicators. Now with the indicators, you can use indicators obviously, and I know that a lot of traders do use indicators. I have my own custom indicators that I use that aren't on here. So there's not really much point in me going over them, but let's just say that you wanted to add an RSI indicator. You could scroll through here and try and find it, or you could use this search feature. So if you just type in RSI, you will get the ones that TradingView has on its system. And then you'll also get a public library. Now the public library is for, it's like an open source library, I guess, where traders can upload code of their own that is titled RSI. Um, and they combine different indicators and code it their own way. But if you're just looking for a standard RSI, click on the RSI and it will just pop up on your chart. Now you can use this to rescale it. I don't know why you'd have it this big, but <laughs> whatever. Um, but you can then double click on that and go into the actual uh, settings. Now you can change the settings and you'll see it updating live. Um, so yeah, that's basically the indicator. Now I'm just going to get rid of this because I don't actually use the RSI. It was just a little example for you guys. Um, yeah. So the next one is financials slash fundamentals. Um, I don't really use this because it's mainly for stocks. Um, so I'm just going to skip over that. Templates is something that you can use. I don't really use it myself. I guess it's for saving indicator templates, but you can just save it over here and you don't really need to do anything. 
Now alerts is something you can use. Um, it's something I sometimes use if I'm looking at a specific level. Um, but I'll go over that in a little, a little bit. But replay is a tool that you can use when back testing a strategy, um, and it's something that you can use when you don't know if a certain strategy is going to be profitable, because you can trade like you would be trading, but in the past. Now, the one bad thing about this is anything below a daily time frame, you need a pro account or a paid account, I should say. And if you don't have that pro account or paid account, you can't go any time frame less than a daily. Um, so I don't really use that to be honest. Um, I just do my manual back testing where I'll go back and find trading setups. But anyway, if you look on the right hand side, you'll see you've got this little cloud. And if you click on the cloud, it'll save this, all of your settings, all your, all the colors for these bars, it'll save it. So that the next time you come into trading view, it, they'll all be there and they'll all be on your chart ready to go. Um, so that's kind of the basics of trading view. Now on the left hand side you'll see you've got all these uh, tools. So if we just start at the top you'll see you've got all of these um, different things that you can use. Now you can use a dot, I mean it's kind of this preference really. But if we start to get into the actual tools that you can use to trade, you've got all of these. Now let's say you like the horizontal ray, you like the horizontal line, and you like the trend line. You'll notice that this has popped up over here. Let's just get rid of this. And this is kind of a really nice feature of TradingView where you can use your favorite tools over and over again. So if I just click on the horizontal line and place it there, you'll see that this has popped up and this is where the alerts can come in. Because you, if you have a look at this little bit here, you can see add alert. So you add an alert and then you can do all the settings and hit create. And once price touches or closes above or below this price that you've set, your, you can get a notification to your phone, you can get a notification to your emails um, straight from TradingView without actually being on the platform. So that's something that's really, really useful. And if you just click on the little color icon, you can change the colors of these. Uh, you can change the thickness of the line, you can change if it's dotted, if it's a solid line. Um, obviously I'm not going to go through all of these, but you kind of get the general idea of the things that you can do. Um, there's lots of aspects to TradingView that are really, really useful. But let's just say you've got all of these lines in your charts and you want to kind of see the charts without all these lines on. You can come over to this little eye and just hit it and they'll all disappear. And then you hit it again and they all come back. So that's something that's really, really useful when trading, um, especially if you're someone that likes to annotate on their charts. So if you're doing something like this or da 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 da, whatever, I don't know what you're doing with your charts, but you're drawing all over them, you can just hide it and it will disappear. You can also click remove drawings and it will get rid of all of those things for you. And then you can do some more drawings and then get rid of it. Um, so yeah, that's something that's really, really good. Those are the kind of basics of trading view. If you do want to see a more in-depth tutorial, I can do that later on. Um, comment below if you do want to see that. But if you have enjoyed this and you have learned something new about trading view or you just, if you're a beginner, comment below. Um, it's really good to kind of interact with you guys. So remember to comment, remember to like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.